Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel for another Trinity Stamps video. Today I'm going to be focusing on the free stamp that is included in any order over $60 this weekend from Trinity Stamps. The Black Friday sale is going on from Thursday, November 22nd at midnight all the way until Sunday, November 25th at midnight. And any order over $60 receives this stamp. It is a three by four stamp and you get it absolutely free. It is also exclusive to this deal. So you won't be able to purchase this stamp otherwise. I will link the blog in the description that has more information, but for now, let's just get started. For me, stamps like this are so essential to have in my stash, and I'll tell you why. Today I'm going to make three last minute holiday cards with this stamp, and they're all going to be different and unique, and I'm going to make them in no time at all. Now these don't have to be holiday cards, they're not specific to any holiday, so it can just be a winter hello or a thank you card, and I'm going to do them quickly. They are gender neutral. I could even make these ahead of time if I had a few minutes to spare and just keep them on hand because they're great for anybody. So for my first card, I'm going to be making a pretty simple, just one stamp card, and I'm going to be doing so on a stitched rectangle die cutout, and I believe it's about three and a half by four and a quarter. And for my ombre effect, when I stamp the sentiment, I'm going to use Catherine Pooler's It's a Boy first, Fiesta Blue second, and juniper mist last and i'm just going to go right over these colors because i want this ombre effect it's a nice big sentiment and i think that you'll be able to see or recognize the ombre effect when usually you would need sort of like a solid stamp to do so i love that this sentiment is large and in charge it's right in the middle of the card front and it takes up almost the entire panel so i really think that you'll be able to understand and appreciate the ombre effect, even if it's just the sentiment. So as you can see, I got a pretty good impression there. I'm going to go back in one more time and just do a little bit of overlapping. I want the colors to sort of blend together and become one almost, um, you know, when they're in the transition. So again, first I'm using it's a boy, but I have switched it up and I'm using Juniper Mist on my bottom second, and then I'm going to go in third and finally with Fiesta Blue, which is my transition color. And I think that this will give a really nice ombre effect and make the cohesion and the sort of transition a lot easier to see. It was really important to do this in my Misty so that I was able to re-stamp it if I didn't get a great impression the first time. This is another freebie, this really beautiful winter shaker uh, set or mix, and it is available to those who place an order over $90 while supplies last. So if you go on this weekend and you make a nice big order of over $90, you're receiving a shaker mix set and a three by four stamp completely free. So again, the blog and all of the uh, information is linked in the description. To put this onto my card base, I am using some foam tape. I probably should have used some there in the center, but I didn't. Um, but I'm going to just center this on a piece of, or I'm sorry, on an A2 size card base and adhere it. And there we go. That's it. For the sequins, I just used some random sequins from the mix. I didn't use it as a shaker card, but that's the beauty of getting a really cool mix like that. For my second card, I'm going to bring in the Silhouette stamp set as well, and I'm going to use these pine trees to line the bottom of my card front. I'll stamp them in Green Tea, Eucalyptus, and Spruce Inks by Katherine Pooler. And to get it all set up, just to be sure that I know where the colors are because the pads can look very similar, I'm just going to put the tops of the ink pads right near the ink pads themselves. That way I don't get mixed up with the colors. I unintentionally make a bit of a pattern here with colors and the trees that I stamped, uh, but I really love the way that it came out. So I just go back and forth between using the colors. I try not to make too much of a pattern, but as I said, I do use a bit of a pattern. Um, I go ahead and stamp my first tree stamp a bit off of the cardstock. That way it looks like it's just a piece of a much bigger stamped piece. Uh, and I don't want it to look just right in the margin, so I made sure that I stamped them a bit off of the cardstock. So here for my final tree, I am again using the tallest tree in spruce, and I'm going to stamp that right at the end, and it just so happens that it also 
uh, comes off of the cardstock a bit. For the sentiment and for the free stamp, I'm going to just use the first part of the stamp for the front of the card. So I'm going ahead and lining it up where I think I would like it on my card front. And then once I get it pressed down and on the door of the Misty, Misty I'm going to mask off the bottom part of the stamp. So I'm masking off everything that says I'd send you a blizzard. So the only thing that's going to stamp is if kisses were snowflakes. I'm going to use Versifying Onyx Black ink to stamp this sentiment. It is my favorite ink to use for sentiments. And I'm going to go ahead and rip that masking or that painter's tape off before I stamp. That's very important. Uh, sometimes, or I have been known in the past to forget to take the masking off. Um, but then I'm just going to press down to make sure I get a really nice impression. And when I lift the door, you're going to see just a line of trees with right above it if kisses were snowflakes. I really love the way that this card front came out. I also really love that it can be used as a, as a masculine card or a non-masculine card. I just really love how versatile the stamp is and I think it's so important to have one like this in your stash. So for the inside sentiment, I'm using just the I'd send you a blizzard. And to do that again, I just use my full size Misty at this time to open up my card fully and then mask off the very top of the sentiment. And there that is. For my final card, I am using a piece of blue 100 pound cardstock cut to four by five and a quarter, which is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card uh, base. And I am going to use the snowflake stamp from the silhouette stamp set and Hero Arts white pigment ink to stamp some snowflakes at the very top across the card front. Because this is pigment ink, it's going to stay wet for a while and I want to emboss on this card front. So the embossing powder would stick to the pigment ink as long as it's wet. So I want to make sure that I go in with my heating tool and make sure that all of that stamping is dry. Once it is dry, I can go ahead and start stamping and embossing. Much like we did for the last card, I'm going to mask off certain parts of the sentiment stamp. And for my first impression or stamping, I'm going to use white embossing powder, which I'm just getting set up right here. And I'm going to emboss the if kisses were and I'd send you a in white. So I'm going to mask off the snowflake word and the word blizzard as well. I'm going to go ahead and prep my card front with an anti-static powder tool. This just makes sure that the embossing powder doesn't stick to any part of the card front that isn't stamped with the Versamark ink that I'm using. Again, I'm going ahead and stamping the entire stamp because it would be really hard just to get those tiny little spots. I'm going to rip off the masking or the painter's tape, and then we're going to close the door to the Misty and stamp the entire stamp, uh, but the only ones that will actually make an impression are the um, two sentiment parts that we inked up. You will be able to see the words blizzard and snowflake, but it's just because if the stamp itself picked up a little bit of that powder, which is why it looks like you can see it, but the embossing powder will not stick to it at the moment. I'm using a white super fine embossing powder to emboss these pieces of the sentiment and I'm going to heat set it with my heat tool. And then I'll be ready to proceed to stamping the rest of the sentiment. So to do so, I've kept it in my Misty. I did make sure that I cleaned it off really well though because if any of that Versamark ink stays on those two parts of the sentiment, once you pour the other color of embossing powder and we're going to be using a dark blue embossing powder, it will stick to the other sentiments or the other pieces of that sentiment as well. So once those words are stamped and ready to emboss, I will take a scrap piece of paper just to catch my embossing powder pour the steel navy dark blue embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp right over those uh, particular words and I'm just going to tap the excess off and then I can heat set it with my heat gun again just to make sure that everything is all set. To bring out the white a little bit more I'll be using a white piece of cardstock cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths and this is going to make just a very thin 
matted background to my card base. I'm going to be, or I'm sorry, to my card front. I'm going to be using the same color card base as I am the card front. So once I adhere it all together, you'll see that you can just see the thinnest, slightest bit of white peeking through there. I'm going to use a very large acrylic block to make sure that this all dries flat and the card keeps its shape and then I will be completely done. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and gotten a little bit of inspiration to how you can use this freebie stamp. I hope that you will take advantage of the sale this weekend and do some shopping for yourself. Please see the description again for the link to the blog post that show, shares all of the information as well as the products that I could link in the description. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.